In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this animation of the Earth spinning on its axis, the Moon spinning on its axis, and the Moon orbiting the Earth. Delete the cube, add mesh UV sphere, zoom in with the mouse wheel, drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window, Make the new window a UV image editor window. In the image menu, open image. Go to the folder where you have your image map. Select the image and open it. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to unwrap the sphere and map it to the image. But the view in the 3D window affects the unwrapping. So you must go into the view menu and change perspective to orthogonal and in the view menu go to the front view now we can unwrap go into edit mode in the mesh menu UV unwrap sphere projection in the view menu of the image editing window toggle full screen zoom in with the mouse wheel and with the mouse pointer about halfway between the center and the edge, press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and stretch out the mapping till it's about the same width as the image. Press G to grab followed by X for the X direction and move the mapping to match the image. In the view menu, toggle full screen. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editor window. Go into object mode and change shading to textured and to smooth. We get a good mapping except for one triangular face at the top of the sphere which I'll deal with at the end. To make the Earth rotate about its axis, I have to insert two keyframes. I'm going to apply my rhyme, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. I'm going to go to frame, frame 1, I'm in frame 1. I'm going to make change, I want the Z rotation value to be 0. It is 0. I'm going to insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. To insert the second keyframe, I want to go to frame 35. To do this, I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 35 frames. And then I'm going to click the jump to last frame button to go to frame 35. Make change, I'm going to set the Z rotation to be 350. And enter. And insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. Click the play button to see the animation and we have a problem with the earth speeding up and slowing down. To fix the problem, drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. Make the new window a graph editor window. In the view menu, view all. And we have a Bezier curve with acceleration at the beginning and deceleration at the end. To change that, in the key menu, go to interpolation mode and set it to linear. Now when I press play, the Earth spins at a constant speed. I set the number of frames to 35 and the Z rotation to 350 degrees, so that if we went on to frame 36, the rotation would be 360 degrees and the Earth would complete a revolution. Now Blender automatically loops and we go back to frame 1 where the Z rotation is 0, which is the same as 360 degrees, so the Earth completes a revolution. Most animations last for more than 35 frames, so how can I get the Earth to spin continuously? Well, the answer is in the channel menu and extrapolation mode. If I set that to linear, now the Earth will rotate both before and after the 35 frames. So now I can set the length of the animation back to 250 frames and when I press play the earth spins continuously. The earth is spinning too fast. The blue line which represents Z rotation over time, its gradient is too steep. We can alter that in the graph editor by selecting the second keyframe, 
Pressing G to grab and Y for the Y direction and moving the point down reduces the gradient and slows the earth down. If I move the point onto the X axis, the blue line is horizontal and the earth stops. If I move the point below the X axis, we have a negative gradient and the earth spins in the opposite direction. I'm going to move the point so that the line has a small positive gradient and the earth spins slowly. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the graph editor window. Name the sphere Earth. I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. In part two of the tutorial, I'll show you how to make the moon and how to make it orbit the Earth. So see you in part two.